Oh, call girl? Well, that's disgusting. This bold story of a lady of the evening dares to ask the question, is a woman ever justified in taking the easiest way? Hey, how do we know she is a virgin? America has a love-hate relationship with hookers. On one hand, being used as a source of entertainment and inspiration, and on the other hand, being thrown in jail and having your children taken away. Sex work is, in many ways, a kind of open secret. It's ubiquitous, but it's also criminalized, and there's a lot of misinformation that circulates around it. I am nothing. I am hardly human anymore. I am the French lieutenant's whore. Any sort of television or media, it's like, how do we make it okay to show someone raping and hurting a woman? I don't know, make her a whore. I didn't have like a street background or anything. I was fascinated with the world of prostitution. My entry into sex work was not out of necessity. It was as an artist. It was something that I got off on. It's really, really hard to watch movies with sex workers. I just can't stomach how we're treated on screen. Okay, $10 each. It's always portrayed in this kind of extreme way. Pretty woman or monster. You're either Richard Gere and getting diamonds or you're getting raped with a ratchet. These films start coming out. Risky business and trading places and best little whorehouse. They all depicted these situations where people accepted the prostitutes for who they were. Oh, hell, I'm a hustler. You didn't know that? Well, how am I supposed to know that? I mean, you got to tell a person these things. I'm a hustler. Shh. If you say your mother's a whore, there's not much worse you can say about that. And yet, Julia Roberts say, I would like to portray a whore. I think really, truly, if I hadn't seen those movies, I would have become an art professor. <laughs>